Beloved, May 21, 2021. In dreams, I and a brother were in a camp, in a two-story house, on the ground floor, where an evening service was held. There we all rejoice in the wonderful instructions that the Eternal gave to his children through his words, instructions, counsels, and teachings so that, if we abide by them, we will do well in life. The light of that day was almost being over, the owners of the place told me to go to our resting places, since the place had no light to spend the night there. But we were all indicated that, on each stairway that led to the second floor, where the rooms were, there were some birds that came close to their cages, to be protected, that we should, please, lock them up. Like this, with these instructions we went to our respective places. Where we passed there were ten birds near their cages, domestic birds. The brother and I locked them up good in their cages and made sure every latch was very well set. Finishing this we went to rest in our respective rooms. The night passed, the morning arrived with the first rays of the sun, and we all got up and began to see through a balcony, on that second floor, the mountains that surrounded that place. These were big and far away. I told the brother, look, how dry everything is because of this great drought. Because, the mountains looked brown and everything green was dry. And I kept telling him, moreover look, the only thing that looks green are the mango trees, they do not lose their leaves or their greenness even in the harshest drought. While I was talking about this, I looked up to the first floor and saw that one of the cages, if the birds, was open, and although the bird was there, it looked bad. So we quickly went downstairs and realized that this colorful bird, which was a duckling of many colors, had been attacked by something in the night. Something bit it, it was dying. All the other cages were locked, and the little animals in them were fine. So we were wondering what had happened. Soon, I took the bird. I took it out into the sun, and this didn't want to be in the sun. It was looking for the dark. I fought for it to stay in the sun because, like this, its wounds would be disinfected, but it resisted. Soon, I saw it enter its final agony, I withdrew, I didn't want to see it like this, when I heard the voice that said to me, wouldn't you like them to be with you if you were in agony? I said, oh yes, I would like to. Like this I came closer to the bird until it exhaled its last breath. We buried it. The owner soon arrived and we explained to him what had happened, to which he replied, ever since I have that duck, it always invents ways to open the cage and although it doesn't get out of it, always opens it, doesn't want to have the door closed. I would always wake up thinking, if it opened the door, it will wake up injured, disappeared or torn to pieces. Moreover every day I saw it in the cage and I would say to this duck of beautiful colors, one more night that you escaped, stubborn animal. Like this, I would say to it every day, no matter how much I tried to find a way for it not to open the door, always ended up doing it, and, look, until today, he told us. It lasted a long time, he continued, it lasted a long time because of the dangers that exist at night in this area. There I woke up, beloved. And it was referred to me that the great drought that had all the mountains dry and did not affect the mango tree was because it did not depend on the water that fell for its survival, but instead had its roots deeply anchored in the subterranean water. And that, in the face of all drought, allowed it to continue living without losing its foliage and greenery. I was indicated that many trees and plants, whose root are superficial, lose their greenery and leaves in the drought because they totally depend on the exterior water to survive. Like this, I was told, there are many, like all those that dried up in the mountains. It was indicated to me that it is time for each one of us to sink our roots in the waters, in the living currents, so that in the face of the onslaught that comes our way we can remain in greenery and with foliage. Otherwise it will be impossible, if we depend on exterior water. I was also let known that the colorful bird is representative of all those who walk through life showing their beautiful external attributes, but when night came, and the owner wanting to protect them, they ventured to expose themselves and opened the cage that protected them. Like this, many, by their own choice, will perish. These, I was let known, are used in making their own law, their own rule, in their lives. Ignoring, like animals without reason, they expose themselves daily to destruction. And they trust, because it doesn't come quickly, but, when they least expect it, 
their life comes to an end. Oh, beloved, what lessons of life for life does the Eternal give us through His nature? Let us meditate deeply on this so that we can, by His grace and mercy, subsist before the great spiritual drought and before the deadly clutches of the enemy. It is my request and it is my prayer that it be so for each one of you. May the Lord bless us.